Next up, we've got a former, the now former skipper, Mark Murphy, uh, someone who's been at the club for quite a while now. It, it's it's so interesting. He's probably, for me, one of the the you know the the wave of players that came in right as I started really getting you know obsessed with the club and really I can remember basically every moment of his career. Uh, and he's one of the that wave of players that that does that for me. So. It's so weird to think of him as you know the veteran in the side because for so long he was the young kid, the young up and coming star, almost like the Paddy Dow in a sense. Uh, and so yeah, obviously you know Murph, unfortunately a very much maligned player. You know we are we have gone through a pretty tough time as a club, and he's been captain of that you know for the last six seven years. And uh, you know unfortunately he doesn't play a style of footy. Um, you know. There's a lot of comments about, I see you know, that he's soft and this and that. I really, really, it does my head in seeing uh, supporters make fun of him because I just think you know, he could have left the club so easily, so, so easily could have left the club and, and, and maybe should have if he really wanted to win a premiership. So I, I'm hoping that he, in 2019, moves into this, this Simo territory. What I mean by that is he, he now starts being viewed as a bit of a club legend and you know, every time we play and every milestone of his that approaches, we, we celebrate him and we thank him. Um, we've got Cripps as captain now, obviously Doc's gone down, but Cripps as captain, I think, it's, I think it was the right move, it was the right time. And Murph being the selfless guy he is, knew it was the right time, and so there's never been any internal battles there, which is another thing that probably hasn't been appreciated yet. But if you look at his year in, in you know, 2018, Went into the season after you know an injury interrupted 2016, basically derailed his his season. Then 2017 he wins the the best and fairest. So we're thinking, well, I was thinking, you know, gosh, have we got have we got uh, Murph back to his best? You know, obviously 2011 he really burst onto the scene, and it's so funny you, you can't take anything for granted. You know, we've got superstars like Paddy Cripps who had an unbelievable year last year, but it's just not guaranteed to continue, and and that's probably the story with Murph. He had 2011, start of 2012, looked unbelievable. Could have been saying that he was one of the top five midfielders in the league at the time. And then the first injury hit, and then it was a second one. And, and now he's sort of become this injury prone type guy. I think what I want to see from him in 2019 is, is a change in his role. I still want him to be as a, you know, as a midfielder, but not so much in the thick of it. I think his, 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 his strengths, when I look at him as a player, his running ability, and his skill by foot, and just skill in general. So we need to get him into open spaces. Now we've got the players in the engine room now, Matt Kennedy, Will Certifield, Paddy Cripps, um, Ed Kerno. you can put in there. We've got the guys that can do the work inside. Now Murph, being a captain, it's sort of almost, you're forced to lead by example. And I think when you look at the, the practicality of it all, he's not an inside midfielder. He's strong for his size, but he's not an inside midfielder. So. I think if we start pushing him wide, maybe onto a wing, maybe even as a half forward type role that pushes into the midfield, I think that's going to be better for him. Anywhere where he's able to be working in open space is going to suit his strengths a lot better. So, I mean, he averaged 26 possessions in 2018, which is a great return. Um, 26 Mark Murphy possessions are generally good ones. And I think as our forward line gets better, we get better forwards who can lead up. I think he's going to be able to hit more targets. And so, for me, it's all about, first of all, just staying healthy. He's one of the guys that we need to stay healthy because he's one of our better players when he's up and running and he's fit. Uh, and secondly, I would expect and I would really want to see him moving more into open spaces and our game plan accommodating that. I, I really, for me, there's no use having him right in the thick of it where Cripps is. You know, let Cripps do that. We know we can tick that box right there. Cripps has got that job sorted. So, Murph can be that sort of first receiving handball guy who can then move into open space and, and sort of um, dictate play for us offensively a little bit. So that's that. The idea of him playing forward came from um, one, of the, one of the comments in a previous video and I thought about it a little bit. I like it because he, he just has footy smarts and you combine that with his running ability, you combine that with his experience now, he knows the game, he's, he's played the game for quite a while, he's also sat out and watched the game for quite a while too. So I think that'll bode well for him and I'm really excited to seeing a fully fit Mark Murphy for an entire season in 2019. What do you think?